Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally made it to this moment. These two teams, they have been going neck and neck this entire one, but it is finally the grand finals. This is it. Who is going to be able to take it? The side of the Baby Beavers. They have been looking so dominant the entire weekend. Have, I don't even think, been pushed to an extended series throughout this. And the only team that has taken a map was, I believe, the side of the team that they're playing right now in Dax Carries, who just came off a phenomenal 3-0 win against ATK Gaming. But we have finally made it. It's been a long two days of Call of Duties. Chef, what has happened over these past two days? <clears throat> Well, there was quite a lot that happened over these last <laughs> few days, um, you know, from seeding all the way to a crazy uh, lineup. Honestly, uh, really nothing that we expected to see, you know, X18 getting taken out earlier than anyone expected. Uh, ATK made it quite the distance, but Dax carries ended up in that loser's bracket and they ended up owning that loser's bracket all the way with baby beavers uh, didn't really have to play too many games had to get some insight from them that they have been running league matches in the meantime trying mm. to keep themselves warm getting into this final now they already beat them i think it was 3-1 yep. so uh you know if they can beat them just one time here they are going to end up the champions uh but dax carries they're gonna have to beat them twice and the difficulty or the difficult part i actually heard for the side of um, uh, Baby Beavers, you said they were trying to play some league matches, warming on up, but it's kind of funny. Agro, their captain, apparently he was knocked out taking naps in between these series because he has so much energy, so much passion. You don't want to see that go to waste. And he's trying to re energize himself, but these young guns, 18, 19 year olds, they maybe have a little bit more energy than the, the team that they're going up against, and especially off of a hot 3 0. They're looking for this revenge, and it's honestly looking really relatively similar to what we had prior in the maps that we're going to be going over it's going to be fortress hardpoint ellis silo search and destroy fortress uh control zarqua hydroelectric and if we go all the way it's mercado and that's going to be one of those maps where if it goes all that way you got to watch out for morph yeah, well, it's a good thing that there's no hotel because clearly uh, the baby beavers have it and uh, Dax Carries does not. Last time it was triple hotel and they got triple sat on. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, now it's Fortress double. Uh, we got a CeeLo in there. You know, I, honestly, the strong suit really from both teams, but none of the weaknesses coming out. So it's interesting to see who's going to take an early lead here. You know, baby beavers they're able to really get a lot done with their teammates uh level-headedness and again pretty much coming in with the same thing you know dax carries coming in very hot high energy uh and both these teams i've been here for quite some time but you know dax carries have been playing a lot more games are they more worn out or are they more hyped up that's what we're going to find out it's interesting to, that you say that because we've been here since, what, noon today, and it's already 10.30. We've casted so many series, and we're waiting on the players to load on in. But I like how you pointed out, who has that more energy, the passion? I think it's going to be coming on in early for the side of Das Carries. But when it comes down to fundamentals and just making the correct plays, you can't help but think the Baby Beavers, they've done this literally the entire weekend they just don't allow many gaps in their armor and when they do it's only one map at a time and they're not allowing anything to get extended they haven't been pushed to you know the distance in a search and destroy it's they've been losing these respawns but not even by that much so clearly the chemistry with the side i believe aggro and clips they've been playing since call of duty world war ii that's like five or six years ago and so that is just something you have to take into consideration going deep into this series. Yeah, the, the Baby Beavers, you know, we had them in here for some interviews. We also had Dax Carries in here for some interviews. Uh, looking at the crowd thinning out there because everyone's headed home. And it's really because of these two teams sending them there. Uh, you know, it's really just the fans left, all you amazing people out there in the chat watching this go down. You know, we got the trophy. We got the cash mm. money. We got the live casting. We got it all here at the LAN. You know, players are loading in. Who do you think is going to take this first series who i know as much as nobody wants to stay later at this venue i think it's actually going to be a 3-1 from the side of 
Dax, they're going to come in with an upset. And I think just the way how hot they came off that last series, they're feeling the confidence. And yeah, they're playing league matches to warm up. They had a player napping, so hopefully he gets that. But will that potentially give you a little rush just in that time? It's a matter of who is coming out hot. Baby Beavers, though, it's just they're going to make it so difficult. None of these maps are going to be blowouts, not by any uh, means of the imagination. I think it's going to come down to like a 250, 230 hard points, uh, you know, round 10s, rounds 11, controls going all the way to the round fives. But I have a feeling this is going to be a bracket reset. You know, the, the energy that I'm seeing from Dax carries, I can definitely agree with the bracket reset. But, you know, they, they played each other before. Uh, I seen Dax carries kind of huddle up, talk about after that last game, uh, anything that they needed to improve, what they need to do to get into this next series. And, uh, you know, Baby Beavers, they, they've just been playing pretty much a lot of the time. They got some rest in between it, and they're going to come in here fresh. You know, I'm not sure that they won that league match that they just came off of. So, you know, I think that they're going to have some energy coming in this as well. Uh, I, I think it's going to be 3-2 uh, Baby Beavers round 11 S&D on that Ooh. fifth one. They're going to take it. Ooh, I love it. They do not want this series to get extended, but it just feels like when these teams are, have those hot streaks, it's a matter of who has the momentum, and that's what Call of Duty kind of has been, especially in the CDL. When you are on it, you are on it. And granted, they came up early, and this was the series, I think, both of their first series of the day was against each other, maybe their second. So it's been a long while since they played, and I think they're kind of learning from their picks and bands. Like you said, they lost three hotels in a row. So that is nowhere here on this map set, and I love that the side of the Dax have realized that, but also for the side of the Baby Beavers. They're so dominant in Search and Destroy aggro as well as clips this man has one of the biggest brains if not the biggest one in the venue because he was standing behind the, that last series and he was watching everything the side of Dax were performing in that round so I think he's going to be the one being the shot caller yeah, and we see Alex, you know, the point man, gets two, three minutes on hill. Uh, obviously, Morph can't say enough about that guy. Uh, Zaya, uh, always love in the chat for him. He comes out pretty well. Uh, Agro doubles, triples, clips. Uh, he turns up exactly when he needs to, but never any other time. Uh, and uh, Dak, uh, you know, keeping that level head on his team. And Koi, very consistent player. Uh, it's just a lot of great great talent here and i believe that these are the two teams that deserve to be here i completely agree and honestly i you know these were some unknown names coming out from dax so they've truly impressed me being the dark horse all the way through a lot of young talent but it's the veteranship from the side of aggro as well as their newcomer their submachine gun al you he has been probably the best search and destroy player in the in the land so far he has found so many openings he pops those dead sounds he pulls those havoc type routes where it's so annoying to try to find what he is going to do but he's i guess havoc slash envoy in the cdl he would be a great comparison he was getting so many non-traded kills right he was popping two pieces three pieces I'm going to feel, I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of energy coming out of that man, Agro. He's always a player you have to look out for as we're still waiting for all these players to load on in. But I know you predicted a 3-2. Is there any, you know, when, if we end up having another series, would you expect to see these two guys, uh, teams again in the next land? And would it be kind of a similar result, you know, having these two teams be in the grand finals? Uh, well, seeing them, <clears throat> seeing them again, you know, uh, a lot of these teams, they'll end up getting a falling out or one of them moves up. Uh, one of them just stops playing COD, you know, mm -hmm. a, lot a lot of things variables. happen. Yeah, a lot of variables with these teams. Um, seeing them and the reset, if it happens, uh, it, it comes off of the momentum of that first one, how much of a break there is into the next set. Um, if there's a second set, I do think that the bad uh, baby beavers aren't going to get it, so they have to get this done on the first one. You know, they get two shots. They only have to win one of them. Uh, you know, if Dax carries gets that second set, you already know that they're coming with the heat and they're going to take it. And let's break down the maps that are coming on up. In particular, it's going to be this Fortress Hardpoint to start it on off. 
typically a very um, you know, trade heavy type of map and you're really looking at those P3s in that Fountain Hill where if you secure that spot and you have a good setup, nobody's going to be breaking on through it. And then the transition to P4, being able to chain back to back hills, you want to put it out of reach so early. But like you said, it's the man in Alex who has done so great this entire time for the side of Dax, uh, Dax carries because Whenever there's a hill open, he has a toe in it. He's occurring all that time. But I just think it's going to be a little bit more difficult to, you know, grab a lot of that scrap because the side of the Beavers, they don't want to give it away for free. Yeah, uh, definitely not giving anything away for free. The consistency from the Beavers has just been next level. And just the pressure that the uh, Dax team is able to put down on the field is next level as well. You know, there, this is the grand finals for a reason. And uh, regardless of who wins this, they're coming home with cash. It's just how much of the cash, how much of that trophy mm. that they're going to be getting. Mm. So uh, it looks like the players are in. We're going to get this one going off to Fortress. You know, the, the hard point is definitely a huge mode because that determines, you know, whether we get this series all the way to the end. They're going to be playing it twice. S&D, uh, you know, we got the best SMG versus the best long range player. Uh, and that's really, you know, the, the battle of the Giants coming into this. Hey, I love that you pointed that out. If you had to say who was the weakest and strongest links from both of these two teams, who would it be? You know, there's just a lot of strength, really, from everyone. Uh, Alu might be the strongest player just in regards to consistency. Mm -hmm. uh, but Morph has honestly been consistent as well. He's had some really weak starts, honestly, in Search and Destroy. And then he picks up that AR and just comes back with heat. I mean, it's really just those two battling each other, really for top uh, MVP, and we'll we'll definitely award that uh, probably between one of those two players uh, at the end of the series. But here they are, loaded in. Let's get this one going. Oh man, this is exciting. Man, this is what everybody has been waiting for. We are done. We are ready to get the grand finals. Everybody, get a W on in the chat. Let us know who you are cheering for. Is it going to be the side of Dax Carries or will it be the team in the wreck? Baby Beavers, maybe one of the funniest names that we have seen yeah. in this tournament. But it is all starting now. The Beavers, all they need is to win this first best of five, and it's all over. But Dax carries. If they take it, they will get a bracket reset. But they got to start it off strong here on the map one. Yeah, it's looking like Baby Beavers has this one on lock so far. Dax carries trying to push in there. You know, maybe they're going to go for P2 here. I would like to see a nice P2 rotation. But these two teams are ones to battle it out on the very last second. Battle it out on the rotations. But look at Zaya just pushing up kind of in his own land. Just trying to get this building taken care of. And uh, Baby Beavers, here they are rotating as well. So uh, I know uh, some big things happening on this P2. And look at Zaya. He's been kind of the unsung hero. He does find one in the back. Unfortunately, it will be number eight who finds him. That's Alu, the guy you were highlighting. He's so consistent. He has a lot of upside potential. He makes some huge plays. He gives a call out. And that is the comms, the communication for the Baby Beavers. When somebody is going somewhere, they immediately turn their attention to where it is needed. And then you have number five again. Koi starting to turn it up. Grabs one. The trades are abound but Kendall heading over here towards the gall gallows who's gonna end up getting the hangsman noose and so far it's clips giving it to the side of Dax seeing a lot of blue in the feed baby beavers is holding this one out pretty well 30 seconds left but they get taken full but look at the rotations it is baby beaver this p3 is the toughest one to break so if you get in there early you might be able to get that full 60 but look at alex he is there trying to push up it is six and seven to hold that tunnel we got number eight alu watching the top stairs they have the defense set up but how is it going to be on the push just happen to find out, but Agro puts himself into a great spot, and he finds two. This guy is the one who's been napping, but you can't sleep on him in this series as he starts off 8-3. and three. He's bringing the passion already. We can hear him in the background. You know how bad this guy wants to win because he was the runner-up at 
the last LAN tournament that was hosted by the contender esports Fort Collin. Morph trying to be that playmaker, gets a second on the clips, and he might be able to secure it. Can he find another kill? Oh god, he takes down Morph, but Agro is there to shut the rest of the players from Dax down. Yeah, aggro, 10 and 3, already a minute on the hill. Uh, almost every single second going to aggro, he's definitely has the back of his team on this one. Uh, and Dax carries has the next point possibly on lock because it's really hard for them to get out of here. But look at that, Clips is going to open up the site. Alu also getting his kill off to the next point we go. And Clips, he might be able to catch out two players in the back. Unfortunately, he will get none as we're heading over to the P4. But still, not a comfortable setup for the side of Dax as they're looking for that one player. And that's Alu. So you know the backside is secured. A big gunfight on the on the opposite end, the north. It was Clips. He takes down Dax. And so that's two members down. So yeah, he knows he has to go out and challenge. But Koi, he wins another. And Alu gets the fourth. Morph, the last player. He will drop Alex, though. Still roaming around the top side. Oh, he pulls out the knife, the slice and dice. He is cooking up some baby beavers right now and putting it on the grill. Yeah, cooking it up indeed. I love them pulling that knife out. A lot of players forget that that is a one hit kill. You know, you're going to get them no matter what the engagement is, no matter what the health is at. You know, you run up, get that knife in these close quarter fights. It's going to beat out the SMG every single time. Look at Baby Beaver's got two on the hill, 13 and four. Minute 43, aggro is going off. And I love what the side of Baby Beavers have been. They, the, clearly, the VOD has been playing off because they know they don't like giving up scrap time. And so they are stacking this hill, and they know kind of the side of carries. They don't rotate too well. And look who's in the point. It's Alu, and it's going to be a big 1v1. Zaya, he has to find this kill. And this can actually decide the point as he will end up losing to Agro again. Doubling up this man is 16-5 and five to start. Glimpse is hitting shots as well. You can tell that duo. They've been playing together for the past six years, and it is showing here in the grand finals. Yeah, Grand Finals is definitely where you want to show it out. Baby Beavers has this one on lock. Can't get them past at this point. Dax carries down by less than half. Oh my goodness, Dax carries not a great start, but they are able to push out on the back of Dax. Double uh, rotations are going to start coming through here, but they battle it out until the last second. Yeah, and they're trying to get every single second from this hill. Morphe does get taken down, and it's an all-blue kill feed. And you are sitting down by roughly 75 points. The Baby Beavers, they are so focused on the rotation, and yet they are holding all the scrap time and denying the side of Dax carries and clips. He doubles up Agro on the other side. He is another clean. Four members down, clearly. They know why they chose this map because everybody is sticking together as it's going to be a three-man hit through the middle of the map. But Alu, he comes in on the flank, but the coverage is there from Zaya. They take down the players off of the P1, and Koi, he will eventually fall as he's sitting and having a phenomenal game as well with 15-9. and nine. Agro, 18-7, and seven, make it 19 with already two minutes and 16 seconds in the hill. Yeah, looking at Dax carries though, one full 60 pretty much brings them back into this game. So the Baby Beavers have to keep that pressure up. That full team wipe is exactly the energy they need coming into this. There we go, some more kills coming in. You know, battling it out to the last second. Those eight seconds could come in at the end of the game, but they have the scraps, they have the rotations. They're already in there. And look at that, Dax carries is very far behind coming into this next point. And yeah, I do have two players that still haven't broken 10 kills. It's Zaya, it's Dak. They sit at a combined total of 16 and 34. That double negative. And finally, getting a few shots is, oh, Zaya, he finds another. That's a big double in the early break. Comes on through, and I think it's going to be Agro calling on in his streak. And they pop out that trophy. Will he try to hit it onto the wall? And no dice. Is Dak going to get that information that Koi's sitting up top? He will find that free kill. Finds the second. And this is what the side a Dax needed, but unfortunately, it's Agro and Clips. They do it from the backside, secure the spawns, and this is a big chunk of scrap. And still, the baby beavers they are just not giving this one up. Yeah, Zaya went in there, was able to find one, gets traded out. 
but here we are off to the tough one again it's on alu to try and break into this one 20 is 16 19 seconds in the hill you know the stat line is looking good aggro 233 also looking good all of dax carries is very evenly stat line right now uh all sitting negative on the kd but that's not what it's about baby beaver sitting on almost the two point Oh, score deficit. And look at this upset. Back and forth we go, but Dax Carries is going to end up with it. Yeah, still, they held this one. And I think they might have to be the team that pivots middle of this map because they were trying to fight for the scrap time in basically this entire tournament. And the side of the Baby Beavers, they have denied that this entire fortress. And so now they're starting to focus on the rotations and have a full and comfortable setup in aggro. Oh, goodness. He might be able to find this more. Will he turn and win it? And no, aggro. A big gunfight. That is a 40 point swing and he knows he has the knife out and now you're gonna have potentially the chance to get this rotation to p4 as they are three stacking it but the baby beavers they are playing this so patiently and look at this they are turning the comms around point the mini map the decided das carries they just have no idea where any of the players of the baby beavers are coming from yeah, Dax carries is pulling on quite a few doubles, but the Baby Beavers are just in the right spot. They're getting doubles of their own. You see Aggro is just going off. Zaya going to fall there. Clips trying to get into this site. You know, back and forth we go. This hill is pretty much just keep throwing bodies. Keep trying to get score in your way. The Baby Beavers already only 27 away and 110 away from Dax carries. Yeah, and right now it feels like the reason why they're having a chance to catch on up is the fact that they are now off the double negatives from two other players, but you just cannot stop the side of Agro 26 and 16. Three minutes in the hill. You love to see what that man is doing, the super soaker. Make it the mega soakers. This guy is just getting everything, the kills, and still now fighting for the scrap time. Koi, he's trying to go on challenges. There is going to be two members. It has to be the setup. It has to be clean. And the rotation over the P5, it's going to go for Dax. They're not quite out of it, but it still feels like it's just a tad bit out of reach. Yeah, Baby Beavers, you know, 19 points away. You can nickel and dime that all day. And it looks like that's what Agro is going to try and do and get in there. Dak has to get him out of there. You know, 15 seconds left. And, oh, man, this this could be it right here. Uh, and then we got an s &D coming up next here. Ooh, but more of Alex going to get them out of the site. Just nickel and dime, like I said. Here. 10 seconds remain. Uh, and just one rotation and you got the win. You have to play picture perfect Call of Duty. You will hear that one time and time again when the team is sitting down by this large of a margin, but that's still the kills are coming through. More finds too. And I think the last player is gonna end it and the kills come through. The baby beavers. I mean, they are just showing why they have stomped every single team in this tournament. And they haven't, it doesn't even look like they were uncomfortable. They had every single avenue of approach. You know what the biggest thing that they did was shut down that superstar and morph. Yeah, look at more stat line, 26 up, not his usual. Uh, and looking at the <clears throat> side of Baby Beavers here, everyone's stat line is looking pretty even throughout the team. Uh, some pretty great skills coming from the Baby Beavers, you know, winning that first match, shutting down that momentum that Dax team has, you know, 161. That's almost a 100-point club coming into this, like, big yikes. Yeah, so far, a great start for the Beavers, and hopefully they can keep that momentum going as they have just took the win right out of the sails of these younger players. This is where that experience comes through. They know exactly how they are running it, and I was saying how Kliz was watching that Losers Finals. He was sitting behind the side of uh, Dax squad, and he was getting so much information, maybe the smartest player on the side to the baby beavers and working along it's just the chemistry it feels more natural for the beavers they are playing off of each other so well because i think also the side of alu and koi they're a duo as well so they had it just the perfect combination for this team to come together and they are looking to dominate i think any other land coming on up in the future for contender yeah, Agro came out of that one, as his name says, very aggressive. Uh, and the rest of his team really just caught up to his point level. And that's really just what it is. If you got four aggros on your team, you're just going to win it. The communication we already know is top tier on that team. And we already know they have pretty much everything else taken care of. But here we go. 
S and D, morph, let's see him turn it up. It, it, everyone needs to be even on your team. And if you're relying on morph to fry it up, it's just gonna get cooked. Because look at the beavers, they got it all even across the stat line, especially now with everyone starting out zero in round two. Woo, coming on in, Chef spitting out the facts. You love to hear it, but a new map, a new mode. You have to be able to adapt, morph. Is he gonna pull out the sniper? We've seen it so much. This is what's really given him the name, but no, he pulls out the AR, gets the first blood. Aggro though, my goodness. He is literally the brawn of this team. He will fly at every single gunfight. He is not losing it right now, but everything kinda comes to a halt, a standstill. And I think I love what the side of Koi and Agro are doing. They kind of saw the last time that the side of Dax played this, they were favoring this antenna side, maybe sending two players. So that's what they kind of did in this round on a blind counter, but it's quickly sitting at a 3-3. And now the bomb plant, it is going down. More finds the second. And now it's going to be a 2 for 3 retake. Yeah, Agro, as his name suggests, can put down that aggression. He's in the AR, kind of in a rough spot. Morph, here we go, 3-0. First round, almost everybody in his favor. I hear him screaming out there. Um, Morph might just catch Agro as well from behind. All four, clean wipe, exactly what we expected from Morph here. And it's also what his teammates expected, and they, 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 they're relying on it. I mean... You just can't rely on the entire series, though, and that's been the problem, right? So it just shows that, hey, you have a player who is popping off all of the dang time. Unfortunately, when you do get shut down, it showed the stat line wasn't even close, a 250-161. And we even saw it in the map, I think the last time they played on the Hotel Hardpoint in the winner's finals, it was 250 to, I think, around 170, 180, and he almost dropped a 40, yet it did not matter. Yeah, like you said, you can't rely on just one guy. Here we are, you know, people playing for a little bit of information, but more if, you know, he's always feeling it, he's always hot. Zaya is going to try and get around on the flank, but Alu is going to read it beautifully. The most amazing SMG player of the night. You see him trying to push into this bomb site. There we go, he gets a little information, but his teammate able to take him out with that distraction. Aggro looking very nice. 4v2 baby beavers. I want to point out how he just distracted that player. He gave him some eye candy. He showed a little skin right there, but he <laughs> made the eyes basically of the iron sights go to the entire side. So it allowed that player in aggro just to work on it and get a free kill. Morph, he's put into the 2v4 situation with Dak 5-0. And I mean, you might just want to play for at least one more kill if you're not able to secure this round. But look how deep Koi is playing. And they're going to get a nade. As, oh, Koi just gets that information. I love it. He doesn't want to go out in Ego, but I think he knows. Alu goes out and not able to win it. And Dak wins the one on the Koi. It's a 1v2. Can Agro stay alive? Oh, and who's going to win it? Dak gets it, but not enough time. I think Agro did just enough to deny it. But whoo, a little sweat off the brow there. A lot of sweat indeed. I mean, honestly, uh, Dak, I think he should have kept diffusing because you never actually know. I, it was close. It was close. He probably would not have gotten it, but baby beavers catch that one. Good on them for that. You know, Morph relying on him to kill all four. He got three other players. You know, Dak was able to pick up two, so good on him for that. But Alex, Zaya, you got to step it up. And I think it's just been the fact that they have watched the VODs. It's... You can tell the Beavers, it feels like they know exactly what is happening and how the side of carries are trying to work this map. And again, look at this number six, Koi. He's going to try to expect a play coming from that outside corridor towards that B site. But look at number eight. Oh, goodness, Alu. He's going to be trying to find this kill. The dead sound says he have enough time. The door is open. This is why you want to close it because it's a freebie. He doesn't get the dead silence reset. But still, he is the guy who finds every single play and opening the Baby Beavers need. Baby Beavers, 4-2. Look at Alex, still with the bomb though, so they can get something done. But the entire map is under control. Baby Beavers able to get this one locked down. You know, we keep skipping. The first part of this name is Wrecked, okay? They are doing a lot of wrecking here. Alu just relaxing. You know, Clips sitting at that 0-2, but he waits for his prime moment, and he's just not needed yet.
And he's gonna pop his dead silence. I'm not sure if he has it, but look at this. They're staying home. They're keeping it close. Alex, he gets picked coy. He should have some help. Will the trade be in? It doesn't necessarily matter. This would be a 1v4 for Zaya, and honestly, it would be the most incredible 1v4. But Alu sitting in the off angle wins the gunfight anyways. The wreck, baby beavers. Ooh, your prediction. I mean, it's looking pretty good. These guys know how they want to play the LSE low. Yeah, well, I predicted 3-2. I mean, it's looking like a 3-1 or a 3-0. Not too sure. You know, 2-1 back and forth. You know, and it's back on to Dax Carey's team. You know, Morph obviously is going to do his job. But, you know, the rest of the team, let's see what they can do here. Where this bomb is going to go is really going to be where it matters. And let's see if there's going to be a switch up on the defense from Dax. Because the last time it was Zay who tried to pop that dead silence and find a route. I believe it was Alu who shut it down. But I like this switch up coming in from the Beavers. Zay, he's going to get that information. I think he saw at least one. All his job is to do is find one or at least get a trade. And no, it doesn't come through. Alu finds that opening. But I love the quick rotation from Dax as he's going to work all the way around. He doesn't want to get caught out. It's going to be a big gunfight coming up against Koi, who puts himself deep into the map. And the tags come on in. If he has a nade, he might want to toss it out. The reposition is there. Morph will get one. Dax finds a second on to Koi. And it's up to Clips. Can he find it? He will find the kill on the Morph. Alu gets a second. It's a 1v2. Dax. You have the clutch potential. That's all you need to do. Start wall banging it. It's an open fence. Start shooting. And oh, he does see the head. He gets it done. 1v1. Yeah, 1v1. It's off to the bomb. He knows he has to make the defuse clips. Now's your time to shine. Get out there. He's not even defusing the bomb. He's waiting for the seven seconds. Uh, Dak. Uh, well, well, what did you expect to get done there if you didn't defuse the bomb there, my friend? Uh... Baby Beavers kind of got that one for free. Um, and I actually thought that he saw Clips laying down right there. I'm, I'm not sure if he maybe didn't get that information, but I think his teammates, if you're watching that, I mean, we saw him. He was in the open laying down, so maybe a little bit of miscommunications. Or, and I mean, when you're dolphin diving across, it makes it difficult enough to get that sight. But still, the Baby Beavers, they're just not giving them anything to work with. Alex, 0-3, the support man. We want to see him step it on up as we have a few of these players. Is Unfortunately, oh, oh, no. I think there was a, a there double was a team lag. nade. And I think that was an unfortunate leg. I'm not sure we're going to have to get confirmation of that one. But a double team nade comes on out. As still, now you put yourself into a 2v4 situation. Alex, they're going to get a free bomb plant down. Yeah. And, yep, and so, yeah, yeah there was a slight... Um, you know, a slight error. That's what caused that team kill. So that round is not going to count. We're going to get a reset as the Beavers, they still find themselves up 2-1 in it. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what both of these two teams have in it. But before we head back on it, I think we're going to cut it to a short break while we can get the rest of this map loaded on up. Like, 
or maybe you can even pull up there. But we just gotta like hold like that that side of the map. So we have three things. It's like someone holds mid, someone holds B, and then someone holds right. And like they can't come down mid, we have an AR there, and then like we have pitches on both sides. Like, Wait, no. There's, there's, there's three ones. There's three ones. Yeah, it's three ones. Three. Oh, we're saying three two because it's short. Are they counting? Is that
All right, everybody, we are back in action here is, I mean, right now. So we're just going to get a quick reset. So it is an advantage to the side of the wreck babies as this is the one thing I do like. So it was the side of Morph that did have a streak. So they're just going to play out these next few rounds. And I mean, you can hear them in the background. They're just having fun with it, but they're going to allow Morph to earn back his streak. And then they're going to allow the side of wreck to get their three round lead. So I know this is going to be a tad bit confusing, but we just want to let everybody know these first three and four rounds, they're not going to matter. It's just allowing everything to get the reset, which you don't see very often when somebody loses a streak or somebody lays out, they're like, oh, you know what? The tough, 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 tough stuff, but it matters a lot when it is the grand finals and we want to make sure everybody gets the evenness across the board. Yeah, just getting a missed streak back, and then we're going to continue it up. Uh, the score is 3-1 Baby Beavers, we were told. So that's what we are going to be cooking with here. We're just going to give Morph his streak. Uh, Dak needs five rounds. Morph needs three rounds, we're told. So once that gets set up, uh, we're going to continue with our regularly scheduled finals. <laughs> Not like I pointed that one out, but I guess while we have this second, we're allowing these players to get streaked up and everything like that. Since the side of Dax, they are down in a 3-1 situation. What have, they, what have they been doing wrong? And what have the Baby Beavers been, you know, doing so excellently? Um, well, you know, the one round that Dax team did win, obviously on the back of Morph. That's why he has this streak. That's why he's getting it back. Um, and what Baby Beavers is doing right, uh, just consistency throughout the team. You know, Dak had a really good rotation on that last round that <clears throat> they did lose, but uh, it, it was a good fighting chance, and, you know, maybe the pressure got to him because he should have went for that defuse, it, and you, it, I think they could have won that and have brought it into a 2-2 into this final. Oof, I mean, this is just so interesting, and it, it's the side of the Beavers that have been dominant this entire Grand Finals, even in the Winners Finals, and they're not allowing anything to get extended. They feel cool, calm, and collected, but it's the it's that talent that the side that Dax brings that, that could potentially scare you. It, unfortunately, the counters from the side of Baby Beavers has just been too dang good, so you need to make these mid-round adjustments, and I like how everybody, it's, a, it's all good sports, everybody's having fun, and I, I mean, the bomb is planted, and like I said, it is a 3-1 advantage for the side of the Wreck Baby Beavers, as and they gave Morph the streak, we wanted to make sure everybody, it was equal across the board, because you'll see it in the CDL, if somebody legs out or there's a reset, they're like, nah, dude, you don't get a streak, and it matters, especially when it comes to the Grand Finals, but everybody, we want to give a big shout out to you, the fans, tuning on with us throughout this weekend i know everybody's been so patient it's been a lot of call of duty it's stressful nonetheless but oh no i think the bomb's gonna go off and they're all gonna go straight down to hell maybe to heaven maybe somebody's been good but oh no everybody goes down and you love to hear everybody in the background it's so funny uh just uh, you know the sportsmanship the call of duty isn't known for that we'll we'll say it right they're not known to be you know, the most hospitable yeah. group. And um, so far, they're just having a good time with it as we will return to our regular scheduled broadcast like you had brought up as we need one more round on the board. The team names are switched up. I want to point that one out and everything should be set to go after this next one. But, or actually, I think this actually might be the next one. We're going on into it. And yes, so we are back live. So the side of the Baby Beavers, they knew they do need five more rounds. The side of, uh, or they need three more rounds. And the side of Dash Carries, they need five. Yeah, a little confusing, but we'll keep bringing it back up so you remember. Uh, it's looking like it could be an A push. Uh, I do like the two, one, number one and number five up there on the B site, just ready for a rotation for their team. Uh, but it, uh, you know, the names are backwards. Baby Beavers is down to one. You know, finally, Dax carries is back, showing up. You know, more of that streak in his pocket. That is huge as well because he can put that out at any time just in case his team needs it. And Alu, man, what does he have, dude? This is uh, this is what you live for. The 1v4s, right? It's going to be a difficult one. I think he's just going to kind of play his life and make sure 
that he's clearing out all of his angles. We've seen some incredible plays so far, but already I think the side of Agro and Clips are just going to be talking about that next round. It will be secured. And we heard a little bit of chirping. Morph wins the pistol gunfight, but a great squeaky clean round. This is the bounce back that you want to see the side of Dasgaris bring to the game. Yeah, the bounce back indeed. Dak doing a great job there defending. You know, it's a 4v1. Not much else you really need to do. Uh, this could be the restart of their momentum, you know, with that lag out. Not too sure what happened. You know, LAN event, everyone's on the same internet. But uh, it, it is what it is. You know, it's Call of Duty. But here we go. Off to the next round. It's 3-2. 3-2, yes, indeed. <clears throat> it's going to be the defense. Does the side of Dax decide to push out the middle of the map? And this is where you like to bully. Oh, maybe a, a tad, tad bit of not a good name, but Koi doesn't matter. He sees him right through that top side as Agro finds a second. Zaya does happen to get the trade, but all right, the side of the Baby Beavers. They're starting off good. Zaya gets a second, so quickly puts it into that 2v2. Yeah, 2v2. Zaya, amazing double kill there. Uh, you know, you can't really go off of the kills seeing that Alex is on zero because we did have that reset. So we're just going to play it as we see it. You know, names are backwards. So Baby Beavers is up 2-1 going into this last one. Uh, and Baby Beavers has to put this bomb down. They are attacking. Uh, you know, let's see if uh, Dax Carey's defense can hold this one out. And Dax playing this as slow as he can. I like the how <clears throat> the side of the Beavers are trying to bait this one out. And they know he was sitting up top at 29 seconds. They're going to maybe try to get the bomb down. And they think he left. Oh, wait, does he have an angle? This would be beautiful. And he forces him to reposition. Doesn't have anything to work with, though. 20 seconds left. And now he's going to try to play this 1v2. Do you have the iciness in the veins? Or Das get them one more round closer. And at least potentially tie it up. And Al, you... He's just jumping across the screen like a little monkey. And Koi, oh, a tad bit of a dolphin dive. He was caught between a rock and a hard place. Another round on the board for the Baby Beavers. Um, Yeah, and, you know, the Baby Beavers doing a great job there. And we've seen Morph do a very similar strategy. Just jump across the opening, get that information. You know, don't let them get the kill. Just play for info. S&D, all about the information. And it's uh, interesting that Dak did not do that play. He just ran right out in the open, just trying to see what was going on. Yeah, unfortunately, <clears throat> he was just trying to get as much as he could. Tiny bit of a difficult situation. Morph and the side of Das Carries trying to switch this one up, so I love what they're doing here. So aggressive was that B site, and number seven Dak is pushed all the way up, and he's usually not the man to do so, right? He's usually the, the anchor for the team in that AR position, but immediately they're just using that that glide bomb to secure a quick rotation to B. Does this side of Wreck Baby Beavers decide, um, go out and challenge it right away? No, they're gonna try to play this retake. Quickly, though, it is the first blood coming out from Dak. Yeah, and I think it's going to be on the back of Koi and Dak. If Dak reads that he has to turn around here, Koi maybe reads this truck, see if he can get something down. You know, Alex is in a beautiful spot on the bomb. There we go inside the truck. Koi did not read it. 3v2, bomb is down. Uh, Agro trying to get something done here. Alu as well. I think Dax Carries did an amazing job. You know, you don't have to get a kill with the streak. You just have to get them inside. It's exactly what they did. Uh, Dax Carries, great job, but the diffuse is coming in. I think Dak is going to peak that. All right, here we go. He re <clears throat> rejuvenates his loss on the last 1v1 with a bomb diffuse. So good on him for that. And great stuff coming out of the side of Dak. That was a nerdy angle. I don't think I've seen that in the... In any of these no, matches so I haven't far, seen it right on into those crates, you're not expecting your player to be in there. So maybe need to end up having a few shots coming on in through. But right now, if you're still wondering what the score line is, it's a 4-3. I know it's kind of confusing. We had a little bit of a <laughs> reset. Still, the side of the baby viewers, only two more to be able to secure this. And then for the side of Dax carries they need to have a dominant defense still Alex hasn't really been you know shining too much this series like we hoped he would and unfortunately just really hasn't had the success he's had in these recent series 
Yeah, it, it was on the back of Zaya to shut down that advance over to Electric. I thought he was going to get it done, honestly, but he does not. Now Aggro with the bomb pushing up. Morph is the one defending this top Electric. No one on Baby Beavers is down yet. Oh, man, that's two down now for Dax carries. Not looking good for them in this round. Uh, you know, bo both teams kind of pushed over to Electric but could not get it done. Yeah, and that was a good counter that the side of Das Carries had. Unfortunately, they just didn't win the gunfights, right? They expect they were going to go all the way up to Antenna side. Dak, he's going so deep. It's going to be left in the 1v3. Another difficult situation for the AR. Doesn't have Dead Silence to work with. And oh, if he maybe stayed, he might have been able to catch out number two. And I don't think he knows. Did he get any Syracuse? No, just a tad bit too far away. He still thinks the bomb's going down at A. Unfortunately, he gets spotted, so they know exactly where he's coming from. He's got to book it across the map. He's got to put on some, you know, some some Pumas sponsored by Usain Bolt. <laughs> Uh, and Baby Beaver's stat line is correct. That is four, so they need two more to win. Just remember that Dax carries is on three, not two. So this game is quite close here. Dak, you know, he could get this one done, but the defense on B is looking real tough for them. He uses tactical. I do like that. You know, slow him down, but he should have followed it up here. Uh, he just doesn't have time to get over to it. And I think he was going to play his life there. <clears throat> but there we go. One away from 2-0 in this grand final and you can tell Dak doesn't feel comfortable in search and destroy it just feels like he's kind of running around when he loses his teammates he it doesn't feel like he knows what he wants to do on the map it's very indecisive you would like to see him just go in with some confidence try to take a gunfight right but you know how much this series means he's not trying to throw anything away but it's a 1v3 try to go out challenge something try to win a gunfight make a play for your teams that is what the Baby Beavers have done. They've stopped any single, you know, double and triples coming on in from the side of Dax Carries. Yeah, and looking at Dax Carries, Morph Rock in the AR. You know, he is a very nice sniper. He's also a very nice AR. And I think he's doing a great job holding down this B site. Uh, but they can't get the push. The defense is definitely rock strong right now. You see them straight line across the map. Now Alu's going to push up. That SMG is going to be huge. Run into Morph possibly. Uh, SMG oh, versus Zaya. Oh, wow. Alu on two. Alu doing an amazing job. Now 4v2. Uh, Rip Baby Beavers is up 2-0 if they get this one. I mean, I think Alu's on a very similar stat line of what it shows on the board. He sits at 13 to 4. I'm happy he's got around 10 or 11 kills. And Alu with three. My goodness, you are Alex. Uh, you haven't found a kill so far in this little bit of a reset. I'm not even sure if he's actually found a kill overall in this entire map. And now you're putting to a 1v4, but you shut down the ace. Hey, small victories, right? But still, you have so much to do. And... I mean, again, no one's there. Have the bomb is, is he going to try to get this one down? He's expecting the challenge. And I mean, he just needs to go, right? But everybody, no, they're going to flood on in unless if it's a... Oh my goodness, Alice gets a one. Can he do it again? He's going to go he on challenge. To kill but him. this is to kill all him. over. It's going to go to the way of the Baby Beavers. They close it out in a 6-3. And they also get that six first blood. So good on them. But on that reset, I know everything's kind of, you know, flipped around. The Baby Beavers, they were up 3-1. They get those last three rounds, and they close it in that 6-3. Again, they are just taking control of the side of these young guns and Dax. Um, are they tired? Well, they could be. You know, they played a lot more games than the Baby Beavers. But, you know, that keeps that energy up for them. Um, as we get into our next round here, we're going to see some Fortress again back at it. Uh, Fortress is quite the map, honestly, for both of these teams' control. It's a tough one, really. You know, getting into this, uh, are we going to see a bounce back at all? You know, they have to win three in a row. And this is the defense, though. The, the Dax have been in this situation before, right? It, they were backs up against the wall against ATK. They clutch up in the round five. So if they want to start a reverse sweep, it has to be on the defense. They need to secure it, right? It's basically something like, you know, 15% of offenses get the win. So it's few and far between. And just so how fundamentally sound the Beavers are, I don't expect that to happen. You need a pop-off game in particular 
from Alex. He has not had a good map one or map two. You need that submachine gun presser along with that AR in morph. It just, it seems like they have slowed down Alex Isaiah. I want to see these two guys start frying. Yeah, and they had the opportunity to get that momentum back after that weird lag that we had, but just could not get it done. You know, he had the streak, definitely used it for a round win, but here we are. Not only do Dax carries have to get three in a row in this series, they got to do it again in another series. What an upset that will be, so let's see if they can get it done. And I'm just looking behind me right now, and that trophy is looking like it's going to be lifted potentially by the Beavers, but not if Dax Carries has anything to say about it. And imagine, right, if they do somehow pull off this reverse sweep in the series, it, I mean, it's going to be scary if it goes to second best of five, but Morph, the turn, can he get the burn? Clips, he lays down, unfortunately doesn't get it. So what looked like to be a solid opening on the B side immediately shut down. Koi not able to find any more, but Alu, he ends up finding a double as well. And it's just the small gaps. You don't want to go all four down because you will immediately get put into that blender in the spawn trap. Yeah, that's really the main thing on this map is don't get spawn trapped. You do not want that. Uh, that site almost had a tick on it, but it's going to get zeroed out. Uh, Baby Beavers has a lot of work to do to get out of this spawn, and Dax carries the skill that they bring into this. I think that they're going to be able to shut it down. And oh, immediately a little bit too much of an aggression coming on in from Alice. Clips, he waits patiently. It's a two. Make it a three for one. Koi, this is a big 1v1. And he actually gets the pre-fire on to Zaya. Alex, though, quickly off of the spawn. 35 seconds left. Still no ticks on the board for the Beaver. So this is exactly what you want to see. But look at the opening that Alu has found towards that B site. And it's going to be the 1v1. Zaya, he goes big. Finds one. No, almost finds the second. As look at Agro, he started off 0 and 5, now makes it 1, 2, can they get this opening? You have Clips, or excuse me, Koi, on that outside, wanting to work his way towards Gal. He finds the opening, will he have any teammate support? I think Aliu's kind of trying to come on in with the Dead Sounds playing, come in with the pinch. Yeah, look at the timer. We're at 16 seconds. Look at the lives. 13-10. I mean, that's close enough to call it tied, but they are all the way back in their spawn. What path are they going to go for? Are they just going to try and run out? I think they should have went for A, but it's just not going to happen. First round going to Dax carries. And a great one at that. Oh. I mean, they sit up in double of the lives, and ooh, at the last second, it's not over until it's over. Yeah, you're We've right. We've seen it. Play to the very last second. Play to the last life. You never know what could happen. And we've kind of seen it in the pros, right? They they sometimes know when they're up in rounds. They're like, okay, we have a minute just to shave out the clock. Let's not give away lives. We're going to work for those ticks. But immediately, it's the side of Dax who are starting to maybe get that confidence. Morph, 9-3. and three. Alex, 6-5. and five. Exactly what they wanted to see out of him. Zaya as well, 5-6. and six. But everybody pulling their weight. They just do not want to go four down early. And they're going to go with a two-pronged attack. Morph immediately guns the side of Clips off of it. And Koi, the wraparound. He feels the pressure. Alley down low. He's just making sure nobody comes in through bottom art. Yeah, it's really controlling this halfway point. You know, coming out of arches is definitely a hard one to get through, but here we are, Dax carries on the attack. You know, defense, we don't see too many defensive wins, and Dax carries was able to get that, so that could be the upper hand to get us into a game four. Uh, you know, Morph, look at that, sitting at 10 and four, absolutely beautiful stat line, and Alu on the other side, eight and five, pretty similar, but you know, no one's really close to what Morph can get done here. And number seven is really going to rely on Dak to find an opening. He's been sitting above the top bar. He will happen to get some tags. Agro, though, puts himself in a good position. Takes down two. Alex, ooh, the shots are clean. More trying to find another one, but Alu, he cuts him down. And unfortunately, you have the farthest pushed up player in Zay. You need to slow down, but they're actually getting all this information. They're pushing all a full send towards this A side. Can they win the initial gunfights? And Alex gets two, so maybe the slightest opening. And if you just get one tick on the board, that's a solid offensive round for them. Yeah, and it looks like they have a nice setup for this hill. Ooh, man, Alex does fall out there. That timer is going to be taking 14 seconds left. No one there to zero it out. If they do a full sprint, they can get over here. But look at Dak. He's going to go towards B, but there's two players watching him. Not going to happen. Now Morph has to find this kill. Just get his body on the site. Two seconds left. Point eight. Here it is. 
And they only need is one tick, but Agro shuts it down. And the defense being held just as valiantly from the baby Beavers. Man, we were expecting it. This is such a defense of having no ticks on the board. And I mean, this is just a typical fortress. It's kind of, you want to feel like they should open up another lane coming out of that way. Um, out of that attack just because it's so easy to watch all of these spawns and get them into that trap the blender is coming in from both sides Dak unfortunately I don't even think he found a kill that map I think he ended up going only 0-2 so very low engagements coming on in from from that man but the AR he needs to start stepping up and we were saying how clips he's having low engagements earlier on in this tournament but he has stepped it up as he's sitting with the kill leader at 11-9 Alu worked all the way around into this main building, just trying to stir it up, looking like B is the target. But Dax carries has a pretty nice defense set, but a hole has been found. Clips able to find one. Ooh, Zaya gonna get a team kill here, but you know, they are spawning right on B, able to defend it very well. Uh, Clips is the only one there, and not anymore. He's gonna get taken out, and Alu by himself. I thought he would've went towards A, but it doesn't look like he's going that direction. And he, all his job is to be annoying, stay alive, make them have to search for you. Unfortunately, he will go down to Dak, who's sitting right on that P1. And oh, Zan takes up both, but that's three members down. This is the opportunity for the Beavers to get this one on the board. They are triple stacking this A. Hopefully, they have a trophy because they're going to be tossing all of the nades out. But good, shooting the toes off. Dak finds another. Koi and Zaya and last player left. It's going to be Alu. Can he go big? Finds one, but just too many members of Dash carries to deal with. Still, you have two ticks on the board. And now everybody is committed from carries on that P1 area towards the A site and allows number four to sneak on through. Yeah, oh man, I hear him yelling out there. Absolutely crazy energy coming through. Morph does find the kill that's going to get him off of B, but a lot of these baby beavers are still in there. Going to try and surround them. B looks like to still be the target. Number six of Alex is ready for some A defense because if this bait B falls, it's going to be off to A. And the pressure is being brought by Dax. Alex has 14 kills. This is what we want to see. Him heat up. He finds another. That's 15 on the board. Just make sure you can shut them down. Only give them these two ticks. 20 seconds left. But the lives are kind of at even. Alex wins another one sitting at bottom maps. Finally, Koi, he will even it up. And there might be an opportunity to go towards this B site. It's a big 1v1. And they will find it. Glyph finds a second. And they hop out of the B site with 8 seconds left. And look at the lives. They could actually play this one as long as they're contesting it. Uh, for a majority of the time, allow these reinforcements to come on in. And still, it's Alu winning the gunfights. That's three members down. And oh, that's four. And no, it's the side of Dax. Carries. They're falling at the spawns and they're still capturing up the A site. And it's only two lives left. And Dax carries. They might be crumbling in the final seconds. And it's going to be a 2v5. Morph. First, Morph and Dak, and now it's a 1v5. They are just going to stack it. It is going to be all over. I don't think Dak's going to be able to make it. Oh, he gets two. Not able to find it in the offense. All you needed was eight seconds, and they fell apart. That just came through at the very last second. They came up towards B on a last second effort, and they were able to capture it. Great job here from Baby Beavers. Oh, my goodness. One more round and it's a defense on fortress stay home stay disciplined the beavers will they go home with the trophy after this one dax you've done so much in this tournament you need to find that energy again because i you know what i'm hearing in the background it's quiet it's silent from them i want to feel the energy get that kill start screaming out try to intimidate that enemy as it is a two for two trade they're still trying to work that way towards the b site and look at dak this is what we want to see out of him 15 and 13 starting to get his gunny going the confidence that is what dax has been lacking is they just feel like they're trying to be too disciplined and they're not allowing their guns to do the talking Agro getting a triple, and one of those was his teammate. Uh, kill feet. There we go. Dak able to catch a double. They're trying to push up to its feet. There is some progression. <clears throat> it is going to get zeroed out here, and it's looking like uh, Baby Beavers wants to push up for the spawn, but Dax carries the raw strength of them trying to get up towards B is just not going to be enough. 
And oh my goodness, it was Koi goes massive, the two piece. That will put him in the trap. But oh, not quite. There's two members. They're trying to break on out. You gotta go through double doors. That is gonna be probably the most difficult path you have to take. Alu's watching the cross. He will find a freebie. And he's looking for another one, but morph with the coverage. So they're still trying to work their way towards that A site. They need to take this one slow. Work your kills, and that's two for Morph. So you gotta allow your teammates to come on in and support. They're watching over him. But still, he's going to need somebody else to hop on in the hill. And once again, it's Ali shooting off the toes and finds the second on to Zaya. But Alex, he gets a two as well. Make it three. And now you need to capture this A zone. Daskers, they're also up in the line with 30 seconds left. This is doable for them. Yeah, and I love seeing in the chat, it's not over as long as Morph is on the map, and that couldn't be any truer. But on the flip side, it's not over as long as Aulu is on the map. We're seeing some doubles, some triples from everyone on both sides. It is absolutely going nuts. 30 seconds left. A just has one tick away. Dex carries could pull this into a round five. I mean, it is just trades abound and now coming down their lives, and they're trying to do it for the streak. It's being called on in from Morth. He needs to get that information. They actually find one. He gets a second onto Alu, but Aggro, he's still here, sending the two, and that is the double you are looking in from these guys who have played six years together. It is only one life apart, 11 seconds, but they're going to try to extend. They should be able to secure this A site. They find one kill. Alu again trying to shoot the feet, but Zaya, he goes massive, and now a minute left. You have one. One life. Take your time. This is team deathmatch or Five to destroy. You need to find these kills. And now no respawns remaining. Can they do it? Can they clutch it up? Morph has dropped 31 and only three lives left. Do they decide to push this one quickly? Koi, he decides to shut it down, but they're going to force the hand of the baby beavers as this is going to be the second tick coming on through a 4v3. And they're starting to do it, but Aliu, he knows he has to peek out. He has to peek. He knows this gunfight comes. Oh, he actually takes down Morph. Do not tell me they do this, Alex. He goes big. Two aggro. A 1v2. This is for it. Can he get him? One more. It's Zaya. It's a 1v1. This is to get the Grand Finals champion. Can Zaya win it? And all he does, we're going to a round five in the dying seconds, aggro. Woo, it was close, but Zaya... Woo, he gets it, and this is going the distance. Wow, oh my goodness. I would yell if I could, but there's just been too much energy in this finale. Oh my goodness. That that was going both ways that entire time. I do love seeing that Dax Carries is able to continue the series. Oh my god, this is <clears throat> this is it. This is the actual round. The Beavers. And look at the stat line. I love it. It is even 25, 23, 22, and 23. But then you just have Morph popping off 31 and 29. And they are on the attack again. It came down to lives. They decide to take this one slow. Koi plays it perfectly. Wins one. Can he win this second? I thought he had it for a second. Alex finds that player in Alu trying to work his way around. And they're immediately onto the safe site. Two trophies out. They should be able to get it done. But Koi clips. They take down two. And now Morph. It's going to be a straight 3v2. Can they find the kills? And they're doing it. That's three members down. This could be the A site falling early. That's all four. They're going to stack it. This is going to be the side of Daskers. Two minutes and 13 seconds left to get onto this B point. Do you think they can pull this one off? Um, you know, it seems like something clicked on this last one, you know, 1v1 for the championship and they help the series continue. That is the motivation they were waiting for on the back of that. I think that they can take this best of five here. And they are finding every single kill. Alex has been on fire 27 and 25 and one more kill. He would have secured that glide, but two members. Oh God, clips. That was a big one. He secures his backside spawn. Now all they have to do is look front off of the spawn. You can put him in the trap, put him in the blender. You cannot loosen your grip as it is just going blow for blow. But somehow Morph snuck through that three members down. Agro, all he needs to do is stay alive. Oh gosh, the drop shot shades of MW3 showing on up. And number one up here, Alu, gonna try and defend this top of the map. We see Koi gets his kill as they try to slowly put the stranglehold on Dax carries. Lives are tied. One hill with no progression. Just over a minute. I think that it's good that these teams are slowing it down because this is really what it's coming down to. And yet two kills coming 
four and they're trying to work in towards that p4 bottom gallery towards those cannons two members go down on either side but look they are gearing up for this hit at the front side double doors will they get the information that clips is there it's going to be more he finds one zay also finds aggro getting a tad bit aggressive but clips the guy gets to along with this duo in the ar coy zaya though he's still being annoying as aggro he's trying to hunt him down and that's exactly what they do not before he takes down one so that's actually as best as you the best situation you could ask for for Zaya making sure he was at least able to take down one and this still is allowing his teammates to find an opening and did Dax see him no he didn't I'm not sure if he did and still 29 seconds left you are up in lives again this one's coming down to the wire yeah, <clears throat> Dax carries, keeps carving the top of the map, just running straight into B. Baby Beavers needs to put a strangle on this because this time is going to get extended. We've seen what they can do, but 8v6, 7v6 now. Coming down to time, coming down to capture, coming down to lives, it all comes down to this. And Morpheus is doing everything he can to try to stay alive. Backside double doors, but it is Alu pushing out. He has dropped 33. Koi has dropped 32. No respawns remaining. And two more kills. It is straight 4v4, but nobody is going to be able to make it out of the point. Dak, no, he did hop on it. And the baby beavers, they will win it off of time. They are the grand finals champions for the contender, Fort Collins. Oh my goodness, they go home. $1,500 richer, and along with that beautiful, beautiful MW2 trophy. <clears throat> Three. Oh, it all came down to that. You did not hey! see that one coming, that's for sure. Baby Beavers, great job putting that one together. Morph almost dropped a 40 again and loses it. Wow, Dax carries coming home. Not empty-handed, though. He was still able to get some money out of that. Oh, my goodness, but what a clutch. I was telling you how the team for the Beavers. It has been shined through. I thought this series would have ended differently. But I think we're going to go out to the venue and potentially hand out I'm the sorry to all the fans that are going to bring home. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Love y'all. You Thank show you. it, my man, because you were absolutely killing it. And Chef, he's cooking it up. Absolutely incredible from both of the sides. We are going to give a quick recap of what has happened. But, oh, look at that. He is, he's like, yeah, this is all for us, baby. And hopefully, you know what? Let's get all four of you guys in here. We want to bring you on in and hopefully get a little picture for the camera. Everybody get on in here. Oh, my goodness. Right there, right. Who's talking shit in the chat? Who's talking shit in the chat? Yeah. Fox Woo! Clan is down. Fox Clan is down. Alright, so now let's go. Oh, 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 Two men dropped the whole time? Let's go, baby. Come on. Oh, and congratulations oh to you God. guys. Taking that one in a 3-0. I was expecting an extended series, but you got it done, Agro. I thought you were going to end that one in that potential 1v1, but it doesn't matter. The teamwork from you guys. Rain true. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good, man. I just need to heal in that 1v1. I would have won that, but oh, dude, I'm so fucking glad that we got another chip. Fucking love, love, I love Alu. This guy beat me last time. Guys, Holy bro. shit, baby. Come on. Undefeated. Woo! He's my guy. He's that guy. Uh, Drop two maps, you know, drop none, bro. Hey, absolutely, and I mean, I guess right now you guys are all getting with the hype. Who do you give the MVP to? <coughs> Who is going to have it? It's going to be Alu. He's going to be, He's gonna be going home that. with the trophy, but yeah, you gotta got to spread the love, spread, spread it around the oh, world. Baby. Give them a little bit of love. Bro, I couldn't I do it without these guys, man. These guys allow me to play how I wanted to play. Just let me be fluid around the map, dude. And, and I mean, we wouldn't be holding this without all of us, man. Each other, brother. So, I mean, yeah. uh, holy it, shit, man. baby. Ooh, you guys taking it. Chef, what are your thoughts on this series? I did not expect it to come to a 3-0 at the end. Great job from this team. You know, we had this guy in quite a few times. We've had this guy in a few times. Uh, you know, the least amount of games played right here. You know, they had the energy coming out, saving it for the end. And it really showed in that 3-0. Absolutely. And the guys, they are going home $1,500 richer as well. So you get that money to boot. Absolutely. But everybody, I appreciate you tuning on in to the stream the first big LAN event hosted by Contender Esports in Fort Collins and a big sponsor to G Fuel who is hosting this venue we're sponsoring the venue everybody have a great rest of the night but congratulations once you, again baby. to the side of the Wreck Baby Beavers oh, yes, the man. Grand Finals Champions Hashtag Beavar, baby. Hashtag Come on. Baby.
Hey, hey, shout out the casters. Shout out the casters. Uh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Are you, oh, are you oh, oh, okay. Oh, hey, no. hey, shout out Bjorn. He didn't have to send us any money. Uh, he sent us 175 to get drinks and shit. So shout out, shout out, Rec GG, baby. Come on. Yep, yep, yep. We got you. Hey, absolutely. And yeah, Chef, before we sign on off, you, you, uh, let everybody know in the chat what are your socials and if anybody wants to come out and check out your stuff. Yes, <clears throat> so the underscore gaming chef. Be sure to check me out when I have my voice and I'm actually casting yesterday. You know, a lot of high energy uh, today. Energy coming in $1,500 and the trophy. Great job, great job. And yeah, an incredible series, but everybody, that was an incredible weekend of Call of Duty, and you got to see it. These guys, no extended series. It was simple, cut and dry. They knew how they wanted to get it done, and they did, but everybody, like I said, I appreciate you guys tuning on in to the Championship Sunday, as it will be the Wreck Baby Beavers taking down the side of Dak carries and i mean good big shout out to that squad as well they're not going home empty-handed they got about yeah. 400 dollars in their pocket it's as well <clears throat> so whew, just absolutely incredible an incredible event hopefully they got some more coming on in my name is graph the draft mm. along here with the gaming chef signing off for now